adding Gowan's Group 3 and Group 15 soil applied herbicides to your weed control program is a great way to get your crops off to a solid start and incorporate some alternative modes of action into your herbicide rotation. This will help your crops reach their full yield potential and slow the development of herbicide resistance in your key weeds. But before you hit the fields, we want to help you get the most from our products by answering some common questions. Let's start with which product you should use. Use Fargo to control resistant wild oats in grain crops such as wheat and barley and pulse crops such as garbanzos and peas. Sonalin and Eptem are great either solo or in a tank mix as a soil applied base herbicide layer in crops such as potatoes, dry beans, or sunflowers. Be sure to consult the individual product labels for crop recommendations. Now, let's go over product application. All three herbicides can be applied by standard spraying equipment, either in a water carrier or in liquid fertilizer. Spraying equipment should be clean and calibrated to apply an accurate rate of the active ingredients per acre. For applying in liquid fertilizer, refer to the individual product labels for directions and precautions. Sonalin and Fargo can both be impregnated onto dry fertilizer and broadcast onto the soil surface and incorporated. Chemigation is an outstanding application method for all three of Gowan soil applied herbicides. Refer to the individual product labels for directions and precautions. Do these herbicides need to be incorporated? For best performance, all three of these herbicides need to be incorporated into the top two or three inches of soil with equipment such as Heavy Harrow. Eptam and Fargo should be incorporated as soon as possible after broadcast application. For Sonalin, you can wait up to 48 hours after application to incorporate. A second incorporation pass at right angles to the first will help establish a complete barrier for best performance. Eptem and Sonalin can be incorporated through sprinkler irrigation. Simply apply one half to one inch of supplemental irrigation shortly after application. When's the best time to apply? Fargo can be used as a pre-plant incorporated herbicide. It can be fully applied in the spring for spring crops or in the fall on winter wheat and barley. Fargo can also be applied in the fall or spring when impregnated onto dry fertilizer for certain spring planted crops. See label for crop specific details. Sonalin is generally used as a spring pre-plant incorporated treatment, but should be applied to potatoes as a pre-emergent incorporated treatment. Sonalin can also be applied in the fall to certain crops when impregnated on dry fertilizer. Eptam can be applied either in the spring or the fall. Application can vary from a pre-plant incorporated timing to post-emergence even to a lay-by application. Consult the Eptam label for precise timings and directions. Let's talk field preparation before applications. For best performance from your soil applied herbicide, the soil should be in good tilth with a smooth, clod-free surface. Fields with soil clod should be harrowed. Otherwise, any weed seeds that germinate within or below soil clods will not be controlled. Excessive amounts of crop residue can reduce the performance of soil applied herbicides by intercepting the product before it reaches the ground or interfering with incorporation. A pre-application tillage pass with a disc or field cultivator may be necessary to get the surface trash levels low enough to not interfere with the performance of these herbicides. And what about burnt or manured fields? Eptam, Fargo, and Sonalin should not be applied to fields that have been burnt or had manure applied within 12 months. The carbon left after burning and the high organic matter in manure can reduce performance. Please note, in 2021, WSSA reclassified the active ingredients in Eptam and Fargo from Group 8 to Group 15 herbicides. Updates to packaging will be made during 2022. And that does it. You're now equipped with Gallon's best practices for soil-applied liquid herbicides. You've made the right decision to take action against herbicide resistance development while reducing early season weed competition in your crops. Please contact your local retailer or Gallon representative for more information.